Hello everyone, this is Heath Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So another another season of AR done. Um uh, using Peony this time on offense. All did alright. We pretty much just got perfect a perfect season minus one match that we just straight up lost. Because I, I didn't see any way to win using Peony with Peony. So, unfortunately, that was just a super rip, but uh, nothing's changed pretty much on my team. Celeph's still quite a ways away from plus 10, albeit it looks close. It takes 10 years to pull one Celeph copy, so uh, here they just go for the bait with Florina. 100% perfectly fine because Sonya is garbage and can never pick up any kills <laughs> and everyone else can't do any damage so it's a pretty free win for them at this point. Like if we were in Wrath range then Florina here doesn't live that because she doesn't have any way to prevent it but we're not in Wrath range so that's a rip. So they can pretty much just go aggro here and win. Florina able to tank that there. And well, a uh, little awkward matchup there, but not a big deal for them. They don't pick up the. They haven't picked up the second ether structure yet, but it should be trivial for them at this point. And well, free win for them. Not much to say there. It's, it's pretty much the same recurring themes. Either people meme themselves or my defense is bad, which is always true, but <laughs> it looks good when people sabotage themselves, <laughs> pretty much. The only, again, the only gimmick really is Celif not dying in one round most of the time, so then Sonya has Wings of Mercy's Glacies to either maybe kill the main carry or maybe the things here they probably I i'm not sure what that was about but the panic matter exists so i'm guessing they didn't want to do that they're just taking their time to set up no no hurry because my defense dies super quickly once you get started so they're just gonna hit and turn like this which i mean to be honest, I would not recommend, but uh, unfortunately, Sothis dies before the Wings of Mercy because, well, Sonya can't kill anything, so <laughs> she almost kills Brave Vike, but that, that doesn't cut it. That doesn't cut it at all. Ah, uh, yes. So here, they can just pretty much chill and pick up some kills like so. Pretty solid, of course. Uh, but Peonies, you know, is live. So Celif is going to say hi and pick up the kill on Air instead because she has more HP remaining. Celif actually could pick up the kill on Peony there because of a def attack defense bond activating, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. Unfortunately, uh, Sylvia attacks first. Um. I don't know why exactly that happened, but it wouldn't have mattered because Celeph's not killing with Ignis, so I just kind of have Ignis on him now because Vengeance is too inconsistent for my liking, but it does more damage than Ignis most of the time uh, when you're at 1 HP. I, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Point being, Ignis is always going to pretty much be the same barring attack defense bond being active but if I had brazen attack defense on him when he's in brazen range Ignis is basically is I believe always doing more so but I just have brazen attack speed for the memes <laughs> pretty much because if Sylvia and Celeph are alive maybe chill speed lowers someone's speed enough to where in some weird world there's enough speed for that to double. Here they make this play. No idea what they were going for here, but free kills. Thank you very much. I'll take it. <laughs> and so now everyone's getting set up and then they activate the bolt trap for free chip damage, question mark. 
So, you know, an Elowit has hardy bearings, so that saves him there. Otherwise, he probably already would have lost the match by now, but he's already kind of our, uh, lost the match, so, um, rip. Not sure what their plan was there, but it could have been a mistap or something, but that, that, that definitely did not need to happen. <laughs> not at all. But, you know, it's just the same recurring themes. We just have your usual shenanigans. This peony isn't even full full kit. I'm kind of confused why you wouldn't take the time and get all our skills up. It's like you get free, essentially free 5 HP, which can help against measly level 1 tactics rooms and stuff. Like, it, it's not a terrible idea. Here, you know, they just use Keen because, you know, Keen's super good. What could possibly go wrong, you know, right? And while, unfortunately, with how the pathing works, uh, we're just gonna go this way, so Keaton gets to live another day. But I mean, Seleth is coming to town, I guess. That's something. He's got Ignis ready now. So they're just gonna run. Perfectly fine idea. Except Sonya's here, and now we don't have any hardy bearing counter. I mean, we got our one kill, so that, that's that's cool, I guess. And then Sylvia gets the kill, because I believe it chills speed. So, uh, Keaton's just gonna be here, doing his thing, you know. Taking out everybody. And, uh, Selif, with Ignis, can only take out Peony, so he's gonna do that. And Ripperinos, because we can't beat um, Valoria in one shot, so she's able to proc her special. Unfortunate, but yeah, Keaton definitely actually would have died if, um, you know, of course, Selif were to go this way. But I don't know if they knew the AI was gonna do that, but that's another reason why my defense is garbage, because you can split up my team like that. Especially with airs, it's super easy to manipulate Seleth 99% of the time. So, I don't know if they knew that, but considering they dropped quite a few units, I don't think they knew that was going to happen. So, it's a pretty much they got lucky, but not really scenario. Because my defense is not engineered that well at all. So, it doesn't, it straight up does not matter. Here, you know, you got a vantage strategy, but again, you gotta know what you're doing. You, you don't simply just toss your vantage unit in and uh, expect to always make it out alive here. So we're gonna get Sothis moving first, which is kind of interesting, I guess. And Sonya somehow gets the exact kill. Definitely not rigged at all. <laughs> Ah, uh, but you know, Celeb's not not going to be doing anything here, unfortunately, because his special is too high of a cooldown. After one engagement, Ignis isn't up compared to Vengeance, which is why Vengeance has its you know niche over there. But I mean, at the end of the day, Celeb's still going to miss the kill, and uh, Brave Micaia unmerged, so what do I expect? Not to kill, and what do you know? You missed the kill there. At the end of the day, again, it doesn't really matter too much to me because we're mostly just abusing Dark Blessings to minimize our lift loss anyways. So getting one kill like that's just already a success <laughs> considering how bad the defense actually is. Getting two kills is a miracle against super competent players. I mean, even stuff like this is just going to work because you just potato and churn kind of deal. There's always the option to straight up not counter attack, and it works. So, of course, they need to be a bit careful about panic manner, but you know, they should be able to get rid of it. And it looks like they're gonna do that here or not. Looks like they're gonna proc Gale Force and get the heck out of there with Erica. Also perfectly fine play, and Faye has pulled smoke, so, uh, you know, Sonya's not gonna even proc anything against her. So we're just gonna get potatoing, because we're not killing this any day of the week. Like, if you want to actually kill this, <laughs> you're gonna need, like, I don't know, 
lull, maybe a lull attack defense or something of the sort. So negate the bonus doubler and accelerate a pretty large heavy attacking special. Or you could do like the cleaner plus. You know, this Fey, of course, only has, uh, what is that? You know, some 50, was it 60 something defense, I would say. So with the cleaner plus, you can, uh, maybe not. You probably, you probably just straight up want to get rid of the buffs there. Is the cleaner plus maybe get you 80 something attack? And then again, if especially, you probably could kill them. I, I could see it. I could see it working. So yeah, you can't always do this kind of strategy, but it, it's pretty potent against a lot of strategies um, that don't spam a lot of specials. Uh, Lorange, you know, infantry pulls spam teams. Of course, there's pull smoke here, so that's pretty useful. Uh, but she's not denying special procs, so that I could see that definitely being a problem. See, like they never broke Panic Manor here, so this was a lot closer than it needed to be, for sure. But if I advantage there too, that would be pretty interesting. But yeah, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter too much. They should be able to just murder Sylvia here pretty easily. They got. Four ranged units. Like, they could have just used Erica to pick up the Ether Structure and got another attack from Air if we really needed it, but it's. At the end of the day, it's Sylvia. She doesn't have that much defense. She just kinda has a bit of speed, but not really. 41 is not a lot. But here we go again with the 100,000% uh, totally OP strategy, Kappa. You, you, you still need to know what you're doing. Like, Kronia is definitely usable as a unit, you just need to have a pretty big brain in some of the matchups where she can win. Because there's definitely matchups that she can win that some other advantage users can't. Either because she's tanky, uh, a, tankier a bit, especially during light season, if you give her the plus one res and stuff, but then they do this, and then it's like, well, there goes your bulk. And reducing everyone's HP to basically nothing is going to do absolutely nothing because Selif exists, Sonya exists. What were you, what were you planning there? Not sure, but that that wasn't going to work. And well, Duo Hector's not going to be doing anything either. They pick up the kill there with um, Brunya, which is not a terrible idea. But uh, we got Sothis here. Hello. <laughs> so, nope. That wasn't going to work. And Sonya, well, Sonya, she's not going to kill. So, we got Vantage. So, that's just a rip for them at that point. So, yeah. But, you know, Cronia is usable, but I'm just, no, not a fan. Y you, you just have to get good matches with her is if there's super poison dagger plus now that's interesting um you just have to be super good with the matchmaker because if you run into a team with they're not even like super tanky but it's like um tanky like an armor ball but like an, maybe even a simple infantry pulse team that's pretty darn tanky for an infantry pulse team. There are a few of those. Then you don't want to bring like a super nuke team because that's not going to work. Tanking, technically feasible, but not recommended. Here, this person just makes a pretty cool play. So props to them. We do, you know, um, not double because this Ike's actually a little fast. It was at 46 speed. So that's not too bad. I like it. People still don't believe in making Brave Ike fast, but I, I do. It's definitely useful. It's just that I can understand that it can screw things up if you're trying to not run like special spiral ether or whatever. They can definitely screw things up because you don't get doubled for the 
assuming they don't have the enemy doesn't have like special fighter or something you can't get those four charges off from their double attack to proc ether so like i get it and of course you want to people run ether for that reason because it's a well four cooldown special of Irvon. and at the same time wait did we go over the I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Did we go over this replay? I I'm not even paying attention, man. No, we didn't. All right, good. I almost scoop that up there. I actually don't know what replay we're on, so uh, 10 out of 10. That's what happens when you're just randomly talking and not paying attention to the replays going on. But um, I get it. Like, if you don't pick up the kill, there's potential for your backline to get sniped, which is why a lot of people run like ether because it's a four cooldown special can help boost your damage output against the tankier units and of course it also heals you which is always important for a tank to survive consistently so there's that but i don't know here they're just going to have roy chill here it seems like they're actually gonna go for the attack which is a fat mistake Sure, you get the attack smoke off, but hmm, I wonder what your HP stat is, and I wonder what the structure is. Uh, feels bad, man. <laughs> so now he's taking damage. Hey, look, we got ourselves an Ignis, boys. We don't kill because, well, it's not vengeance, but... Hey, look, we also don't kill because no one cares, but hey, we got Sonya. Yay, free damage. So, yeah, I don't think that actually ever needed to happen. They just needed to not attack there, and it would have been fine. Here, you know, they can do it because Fiorm has more than 60 HP. This should work out perfectly fine. There's no reason for Fiorm to lose here. Absolutely no reason. So, there we go. Free win for them. But uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much, but they didn't pick up the Ether structure. Uh, so, last match of the season, we, we just seem to be getting a lot of single kill matches during, excuse me, dark season, light and dark season, which is perfectly fine by me, because at the end of the day, we're just trying to minimize our lift loss by cheesing as much as possible with simple methods, and this is the cheapest, I was honestly thinking about putting Merrick on the team, <laughs> just build a Merrick. We need a plus 10 and um, replace him with Brave Makai, replace Brave Makai with him because there's, there's all sorts of new problems that show up because for one, like we don't have, I, I don't know, I just, I just want to meme with like that. <laughs> just have two wings of mercy units, one with Ignis and one with Glacies. Of course, Ignis isn't going to be doing that much. Because I don't have like sturdy impact or whatever for a Merrick. But Merrick's pretty okay on AR defense for sure. You could use Excalibur, get a 3 cooldown, Ignis or whatever, and maybe get some extra buffs from the Excalibur fine. Or you could go Dark Excalibur, of course, for the turn 1 super nuke. But yeah, you run Excalibur for more consistent specials. So if you were to run like Bonfire with Special Spiral or something. You know, you just keep chaining, chaining them. So that's pretty strong as well. And his, his stats are still alright. His HP is pretty solid. That's the main problem for me would be how to, how to actually infantry pulse him. But I think Self and Sylvia do it. I would have to check. But yeah, that, it would definitely... I think it would make my uh, Astra M defense a lot easier. Here they just... Well, not much to say about this this uh replay <laughs> it's just bride fiorm can't isolation ploy sylvia out of 10 kind of deal but at the end of the day we we're just fishing for kills and well not top 3k's pretty much usually as if we won our other match you probably could have gone it but it's what happens when you're using a semi new team but i did like the 61 hp on nino and the extra speed Definitely came in handy in some matchups where I would have to do some weird things with, um, weird things with, whatchamacallit, Legendary Zura, but 
I mean, I would just do something else. That, that's kind of that's kind of the thing. And for the previous AR offense matchup, that was I think a couple videos ago against that Altina. You know, I could have I could have done it without Peony for sure. That was just one way I could do it. No, unfortunately, in allegiance battles, since I don't have any, this is the team I use for allegiance battles, and since I don't have any merges, enough merges in legendary alm, we just can't score enough now for top 1K. Ripperonis, boys, or maybe because it's I, I don't know. It might this might not be constant if it switches away from Earth season, but I can't be sure on that. Arena, I actually had to rerun my match. I mean, my run for the week. But it was all random matches the entire time, so it didn't really matter at the end of the day. But uh, using Legendary Ike, who's all right this week, got some. I actually found a lot of Reinhardts, <laughs> believe it or not, at like 746 and 748 and stuff. So I actually got Legendary Ike to pick up those bonus kills. Even though I know the arena change has happened, I'm literally just playing arena like the change never happened because it honestly does not make much of a difference for me in arena in general. Like I think next season is going to be P I'm going to have to use like Peony. So my entire team is just going to be like mono blue or something. So that against greens, you know, that's definitely it's it's definitely going to be a boon that I can pick up the kill on the green unit with one of my other blue yeah no <laughs> it's just i don't know it only helps it mostly helps other people out which does not help me at all but i mean at the end of the day you're just fooling around in arena and struggling to try and stay in tier 21 so what am i gonna do about it <laughs> So yeah, uh, I had like 3,768 or something, and that was super close to dropping. So I'm pretty sure the tier 20.5 cutoff is definitely getting up there. And well, hmm, let's not look at that. <laughs> of course, stuff like this has to happen, but uh, that should be top 1k for sure. So we will be back when the uh, results come in. Oops, <laughs> I accidentally clicked the ether is icon, so uh, let's start recording here. <laughs> so, not top 3k, not the end of the world again. We did all right, not too shabby. Gonna get absolutely murdered <laughs> this upcoming uh, Astro season. I do not see any way I get a reasonable tier using the random matchmaker, simply because Altina is bonus, and when that's a thing, and they throw it on defense, I just straight up lose 90% of those matches if I can't just vantage kill her somehow. So I'm pretty sure I'm just doomed. <laughs> but uh, we'll worry about that when we get there. I think I'll swap over here, I guess. Not top 1k here, but not the end of the world. It's just kind of one of those modes where if I don't get it, so be it. If I do, cool. <laughs> Because it just mostly requires having pair up heroes and legendary heroes and getting those merges on them. So, back into tier 21, probably just gonna dip out again because the 4.0 change is just making people snipe higher, which is making everything worse. <laughs> but, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just fooling around in the game. So uh, let me screenshot this. Yeah, at this point, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye.